Well, NTK is just so proud to, to, to be a partner with NASA. And for NASA, this is just an incredibly important event for these students. The opportunity to, to, to design and then build and then actually fly a rocket. Uh, I mean, how many students get a chance to do that? And just imagine what a leg up it's giving them on their engineering careers and their future prospects. So certainly ATK is a solid rocket motor provider for the United States, both civil space and military space. Um, this is right up our alley, so to speak, and we're proud to be part of it. My name is Jolena Wanick and I'm an electrical engineering student at the University of Hawaii. I am the project manager for the team and our team name is Team Hawaii 5 Uh-Oh. Uh, it's actually a bird in Hawaii, it's spelled O or possibly O, so just a little bit appropriate for rockets. Our rocket is approximately 20 pounds, or 21 pounds, and 4 inches in diameter with 85.5 inches in length. We're flying on a K510 uh, Ciceroni. And our payload design is a little bit unique, uh, being that we're completely outreach based, we've designed a payload as a payload carrier. And so we're carrying, um, it's available for any students in Hawaii to be able to insert any class project, be it a CANSAT or um, crickets, if that's what, <laughs> that's what they want to test. Um, so that's what we've designed and uh, we're really, really happy. We've had some good experiences with students. We are currently carrying another community college's uh, work, several electrical engineering majors are testing their two accelerometers, one at uh, plugging it at one, one hertz and the other at three hertz. And we also have an internal pressure and temperature sensor. So hopefully everything go will go well for everyone. My name is Krista Finley, I'm the Chief Engineer, and we are the Mississippi State University Space Cowboys. Tell us about your rocket and uh, your payload today. Our rocket is called TIER, it's about 8 feet long, 6 inches in diameter, and our scientific payload is a concept called Bluff Bodies in Tandem. Uh, in this concept we use a flat plate system instead of a traditional nose cone. And the flat plate is used to direct the air around the side of the body of the rocket, and we can adjust the drag that way. We want to find the um, optimal point so that there's the, le the uh, least amount of drag possible. And uh, we will adjust once during flight and gather data, uh, pressure data, velocity data, mock data. I'm Chris Coleman uh, from Tuskegee University. Uh, this is my team, uh, Tuskegee University Student Launch and Experience this is Tussle. Tell us about your rocket and your payload today. Uh, our rocket is uh, 120 inches tall, which is 10 feet. Uh, by 5 inch diameter. Uh, we're using a scientific payload of temperature sensors, uh, barometric sensors, and uh, a 3G accelerometer, all three axes, X, Y, and Z. I'm Libby Jones. I'm with the Harding University Flying Bison team. <laughs> Tell us about your rocket and your payload. Our rocket is 4 inches in diameter and it is about 7 feet long and it's using a K888 Contrail Motors hybrid rocket motor, which uses nitrous oxide as a fuel. And our science payload is measuring gamma radiation as a function of altitude. All right, I am Isaac Owalabi from North Carolina State University. Uh, our team name is Taco Lycos, which is Greek for Speedy Wolf. And uh, our team is really, really excited to come out here. This is our first year launching at the uh, USLI competition, and we've learned so much in the process of being here. Uh, and also, our launch uh, went really well. We uh, got to 5,113 feet, which is very close to our mile marker. And we're very excited about being here, 
And uh, one of the one of the things that we've really learned is about documenting everything. So anytime that something goes not as planned, we always like document it, um, study it, and try to do some analysis to figure out what uh, what went wrong. And we think that we've really refined our process. So. These are the people from whom you're going to hire your next generation of workers and engineers, astronauts, and scientists. Uh, each of these people have a passion. Each of these students have already said that this is what I want to do with my life. I want to build things, and I want to be associated with the space program. Uh, this is really what NASA is all about. So I've got to believe that we're going to see these people graduate from school, come to work for NASA, or for one of the NASA contractors, be involved in the next generation of rockets and spacecraft, and, uh, and I have no doubt one of the future astronauts for NASA is walking amongst us right here today.